How's it going? Welcome to a what if we've got Yuri Berchiche. Um on the face of it. I mean, it looks like a pretty good left back card and it's always nice to have that upgrade potential. Uh, and with that upgrade, I mean, he will look very, very good. Uh, but I was looking into it. I mean, it doesn't look, I wouldn't say it looks too likely and I wouldn't bank on it. I mean, uh, Bill Bell's defensive form has been quite poor this season. Uh, they have five clean sheets out of 25, and they just played their first game against Levante for the you know the streak, and they tied 1-1. So I wouldn't be overly surprised if this card just didn't get an upgrade at all. Uh, but hopefully it does, you know. And in terms of you know options, it obviously adds to it. Uh, maybe, probably not, but hopefully maybe we'll displace some of those Furlon Mendes, but probably not. So uh, he is quite expensive. He is coming in at around 110 to 140k. You know, he crashed a bit, then rebounded a bit, and it is a little bit expensive for a fullback. So that is something you'll want to consider. So we'll get into the stats. Uh, we'll start out with the pace. So he's got the 89 acceleration and 91 sprint speed. You know, that's good pace for a fullback. And uh, you can really feel the pace, you know, covering that space closing down and then you know obviously going forward it's a constant threat to the opposition's defense uh and then you know his distribution is passing probably the best thing about this card in my opinion he's a good creator and i think passing is definitely one of the most underrated and important stats for a fullback uh, he's got the 88 crossing 86 short passing and 82 long passing um and then on the ball uh you know he turns well he's got the 84 agility and 87 balance and then the 80 dribbling and 87 ball control. Uh, 85 composure is very good. And then the 87 reactions, which is also very good, especially for those defensive scenarios, you know, to pick out those passes uh, and read the play. Um, but yeah, defensively was probably my most, the, the biggest problem for me. And I don't usually like bashing players. Uh, there's a lot of things wrong with his defensive play. Because, uh, you know, when you, you bash someone, there's always those people uh, who like the card or like the player and then they get mad and then just you know they say like you're bad at the game i don't really care i'm just gonna say uh say it how how i thought you know uh defensively uh, you know those work rates high medium which i'd say like most fullbacks have those work rates but it honestly felt felt like a high low work rate you know he was playing so high up the pitch uh you know practically left mid or left winger you know higher than my left mid left winger and sometimes even higher than my striker so it was very annoying especially when i got countered you know i was left stranded uh and it was just my left center back having to drift out wide to cover for that space so you'll have to put him on state back while attacking you'll have to mess with the instructions to uh, kind of fix that because you know defensively he kind of just wandered uh out of position um and then uh, another thing about his tackling um, you know, his tackles, he didn't really go through the defender and, you know, he wasn't a strong tackler. He kind of just nicked at it and kind of played the ball into space and it was just a 50-50. So he's not always consistent with the winning the ball back uh, and he always allows those second chances, which is, you know, obviously very frustrating. Uh, but, you know, the two things I found very, you know, probably the best things uh, defensively, his interceptions are pretty good. Uh, you know, he reads the play really well. Uh, like I said, the 87 reactions are very helpful, and then the 86 uh, interceptions. And he's got a pretty decent slide tackle with, uh, despite it being only 81, you know, he's not too bad at it. Um, and then the physicals, I mean, they're very good. 89 jumping, so he'll win those 50-50s. Uh, 90 stamina, he'll last the full game. 84 strength is very good for a fullback, and he doesn't feel clunky or tanky, so that's pretty unique. And then the 89 aggression, which is very good for a defender, uh, especially a fullback. So... I mean, overall, you know, I thought pretty good going forward, but he just had too many defensive problems, and I do think he needs that upgrade to really be uh, one of the top options. So, um, you know, that's my honest review. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, that guys it's that you know that helps you guys. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be my review. Please like, of course, subscribe, comment down below if you'd like to see next, and thank you for watching.